Shalom, la bacharium, shal, yasha'allah, peace be to the elect of the nation of Israel. That consists of the chosen 144,000 Hanabiyayim, the prophets, who were given, of course, this word, this inspiration from Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, having the breath sealed within them. And of course, that will minister this word unto the rest of the one third, that great numerable multitude. Whom are no prophets but are believers of the word, or shall be sealed collectively, having at the wah the mark of exemption from the judgment that is upon us in these times. Of course, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shem Shai, by Hashem Chakodash. Of course, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone were well. And of course, peace and salutation to the elect Achar again. Shemiah Mapa, my name is Mapa, my young God Walla were cub, Machana from the Great Millstone Camp, playing tables, specifically by Yar in the city of Philadelphia, Abba Wa'a, I'm Lamadia Ma'ai, I come coming with a lesson little, my mouth of truth. Here it is a lesson from our actual video that is, pardon, which Lisa Haven has posted. Uh, she is one of those truther channels in which you have uh, many of them but this is uh just one of them that i choose to highlight and this video is entitled here first locked in then mass the next detention move will shock the living shawa or hell out of you all right which hell is a <laughs> is a low estate and it's this uh this destruction is this lock of fire that's coming, this lake of fire, which um, is coming to America that's going to be destroyed by the missiles, okay? And other parts of the world are going to be destroyed. But we must understand that there are other plagues that will be sent from the Lord and will bring judgment to the people here of the wicked, the uh, Esau, Edom, the wicked, all right? Adawam, who of course calls himself to be wheat, but isn't he? Adawam just means red uh Ishashua is esau in hebrew which means waste away is he he doesn't have his pigment okay and he is that wicked man okay the son of perdition um also and the workers of iniquity um because of them coming into rulership you have all of this wickedness that's perpetuated and of course his main blessing is the sword okay and what she's really gonna show it in these times. Now, I'm just gonna play this video. I do have a time stamp. I had no it here around the 903, but I might just play it through the spirit and see what we get. And we're just gonna play it. Pretty much a, a summary of it is our brief overview is um you know some of the different things part of the new world order which are coming. Okay, because this is nothing but agenda by, of course, the elite. And uh, us being, as Yashal and the Israelites, of the hopefully like, we have to prepare ourselves and arm ourselves and to watch as well as play and not faint in the times that we're in. Because we're in the times of peril and overthrowing, okay? And this great siege, right, is uh, already here, okay? Um, with this whole lockdown and stuff. They've already taken many measures to bring forth the oppression of the people. Now they're really going to put that even more greater press on the people when they move to the next phase of the agenda. Okay, so that's why, you know, I'm just going to start through the spirit with this, uh... That's a good scripture too, Proverbs 16 and 3, but I'm going to get another one and then go to it. So, I'm going to start with this uh, Psalms, or the Hallium, which means songs, 64. Which there's so many different prophecies that are written in the book of Psalms. It says here, the Hallium chapter... 64 and 1 To the chief musician of Psalm of Dawada Hear my voice, O power, in my prayer Preserve my life from the fear 
of the enemy and of course as I be going into pretty often and you go into that word in Hebrew for preserve uh, my life from the fear it's actually pachad in the Hebrew which goes into an object of dread okay a terror and COVID-19 being one I mean um, that you can liken onto it that's an object of dread and you know there are different wicked plots that they're bringing about with their contact tracing and ultimately want to bring forth a, a vaccination which is harmful to the human body which I believe it has an option or ability to have the RFID with it okay whomever these different various um, um, distributors or uh, manufacturers are that's gonna p push out this this vax you know this there's optional to have the RFID chip with it you know of course to uh, you know help better trace and track the people Okay, and we know us as Israelites not to take the RFID microchip. It's an incision that goes in, underneath your, your flesh, piercing you as a trench, okay, a palisade. Okay, and that is in violation of the book of Leviticus 19 and 28, which we're not supposed to make any cuttings in the flesh. And a part of these different objects of dread, all right, I am is that chip and these different places that they have prepared and are preparing for the Israelites to go to which are these detention centers FEMA camps concentration camps are places where they will be doing mass chipping mass re-education to those that they deem can be re-educated re are really indoctrinated with their doctrine of this whole conformance to the new world order to their rule to their rule which is after what the spiritual demon satan to be everything that's contrary from the power okay which yahweh bashim yashai is the power of israel all right the powers of israel that is now going back to it again so, yeah, hear my voice, O power, in my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Okay? And then another scripture that is applicable to this particular lesson is this. Psalm 64 and 8, it says, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, that they being the, the wicked. And going into that word for fall, let me see what Hebrew word they have here. Which they have kashal. Alright, kashal that is. Which it means to stumble. Alright, to totter. And totter goes into the word to move in a feeble and unstable, unsteady way. It's a teeter. And unsteadily and it's stumble and it's like you have of their own people whom their mouths are literally unstable and tear taught and giving out these various words okay that are falling out and we being of the hopefully elect are able to hearken and to arm ourselves to be not ignorant of satan's devices and that's a blessing because the lord is here and he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And the prophets are the chief ones here set up for the nation of Israel to be able to have that warning. Okay, given by Yahweh Shemel Shai. Us being the mouth, alright, or pa of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Okay. And real quick, let me see if I can get another one. Um, this I'm just going to cover some of the other precepts. This is Amos chapter 3. And remember, in this, all is coming from the Lord. This, the Lord controls both good and bad. Amos 3 and 6, it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? And the trumpet being blown gives a various um, warning, okay? All right, make you alert, okay, to what 
is going to befall that city. Uh, you know, they're also different calling for different assemblies and such as well back in the ancient world. But continuing on, it says, Shall there be an evil in the city, and the Lord Yahweh hath not done it? Okay, it says, Surely Yahweh will do nothing but reveal revealeth his secret unto the servants, the prophets. And within the word of your Lord is various secret, secrets and mysteries. Okay, let me see if I can get, I just read this other precept. It might be either Revelation 11 or Revelation 10. Let me see if I can find it. Revelation 10. Okay, this is the book of Revelation chapter 10. Precept should be. Let's see if I can see it. I just literally read the scripture. Pardon me as I find the scripture. Yeah, this is it. Revelation 10 and verse 7. Alright, I'll just start here, 10 and 5, it says, And the angel which I saw stand, and this is, I believe, uh, th yeah, this is uh, uh, John the Re Revelator. Okay, he was banished on the uh, Isle of Patmos by the mission. Alright, because, remember, preaching is, uh, a, a, you know, we preach, and as John did back then, as preaching against the rulership. Okay, the doctrine which the prophets hold. Is against the rulerships of the heathen, against particularly here of uh, what the Edomite Romans, okay, which we are in nothing but the E, e uh, Roman Empire reincarnated that deadly, uh, deadly head that was wounded, roughly paraphrasing. All right, that came back through NATO to EU. All right. Which is the beast. Alright so. Let's go on America. Now let's continue. It says Revelation 10 and 5. It says in the angel. Which I saw. Stand upon this, the sea. And upon the earth. Lifted up his hand. To the head, to the heaven. Shemayim, and swear by him. That liveth forever and ever. Who created heaven. And all things that there therein are. Into the. In the earth, like you, and the things that are therein are in the sea. The things which are therein, that there should be time no longer, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of the power should be finished. Okay. As he declared to his servants, the prophets, okay? So, you know, it's, it's a Yipa thing that, of course, we're given this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from Yahweh by Shimei Shai. all right? Due to the Holy Spirit, all right? The angels, the, the, having Yahweh Shai supping with us, and we are to declare it, okay? Because we are, uh, as it going to, um, what, the her heralds? Um, you go into, um, let me see, I'm going to look into that word real quick. Herald. Okay, the herald definition, which is an official messenger bringing news. And we're bringing you the good news, which is the, the gospel. Okay, the good titans, the glad titans and such. And to the nation of Israel that the thrones of the heathen are going to be cast down at the time that um, the um, the time of, the, of these Gentiles ruling over us is um, is coming to its end. All right. We're, literally, we're in that time. 
All right, so as prophets, this is our chief reason and duty to be on earth. All right, to serve Yahweh Bashem Shai, declaring these prophecies. All right, this is what the 144,000 are a part of. Okay, are, are all about doing this work in truth and sincerity. So I'm going to continue and go here now into this. And we'll just bring out some edification. And pardon if it, the video actually lags. The point is to hear the audio. Most of you know, uh, there are things hitting us from every angle. We have the COVID-19 pandemic. We have the economy literally breaking. We have the riots and protesters. And I'm here today to ask the question, what on earth is going on? Is there an end game? Are the Democrats, globalists, what are they all planning? So on this report. And this is all prophecy. What's hitting us is prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. All the things which is written in uh, the book. All right. That's what's hitting. I wanted to bring in some inside information. So with me on the channel is Dave Hodges at the common sense show.com. Dave, are you with me over there? I'm with you, Lisa. It's good to be with you again. Well, good. I'm very glad to have you. So and like I say, we, I believe that Dave Hodge is an Edomite. I am. I've got um, actual knowledge of the guy via the Zakon Machama. That's the elder Malcolm uh, of the Machana uh, GMS Great Millstone Camp. Machana just means camp in Hebrew. In his videos, he uh, used this particular man in some of his videos. You know, we use these different insiders to bring out information for the body. All right. Um, so, you know, these different E's, they own tongues of falling upon itself. And they reveal, obviously, things that are their own family is doing which is self-destructive <laughs> okay this man has no salvation lisa haven i don't know if she's a, a jake or not but i perceive her to be of e i mean she's ugly too by the way that's just my opinion but <laughs> it is what it is but uh yeah these e's are losing it and their tongue is falling upon itself so let's just continue so what is going on? Give me a rundown uh, of what's happening in our country. Well, you, you pretty well nailed it. There's there's so many challenges, but the uh, COVID-19 uh, situation, uh, which is deadly, but it's deadly to a specific population with specific health concerns and death outside that population, which is relatively small, is uh, almost unheard of. In fact, the UK, interesting, the UK did a study. They found 95% of the people that died from COVID had multiple fatal conditions and they were living in assisted care or senior living facilities. And Right, so you, you hear that, of course. Yeah, and so it's really, um, most of the people with this whole COVID thing, they had pre-existing conditions and Really, they're marking it as COVID-19, which, as I've you know done researches, as um, just pretty much as a as a mild cold, a, a common like a common like a, a similar to a flu, a, a low we we cold, and the mortality rate is is low. I mean, it's what 03 percent two or something like that. Yeah, three percent. And of course, the actual flu is more deadlier abortions <laughs> all sorts of things but as you go into it they've inflated all of the numbers as he i believe he explains in this video um they have uh diagnosed you know miss which is miss really misdiagnosing people which they intentionally done just to push this narrative and and also uh yeah mark you mark the people for death by covid regardless if it was say like example going for a broken uh, i'd say like for example a gunshot woman and die the fatality that is being listed as death by covid just you know this is how these demons these devils are getting uh profit and rich riches off of their new world order you know so this is what they want and they're doing this all by fear okay as um akim maybe went into if you go on google and put in 
uh, any three digit number um I don't even think you have to put in COVID-19. There'll be a a, a a new story for every single number, regardless of the combination. Okay, just to let you know that it's just well, Ian is witchcraft and stuff. But let's just continue on. And we have the same things going on here. So we have the COVID situation. The lockdowns has wrecked our economy. And even under optimal conditions, many economists that I've interviewed say it's five to eight years to get it back. And that's if things are going well. And then, of course, on the heels of that, as America starts to wake up and come out of their cubby holes. In five years, I mean, they get, get back. They've been doing nothing but uh, as they go into this quantitative easing, put pushing or planting money. That is really OK. Inventing money out of nowhere. In which as is going to go as I mean, most of the economy is going to that's going to do nothing but bring forth so many different detrimental things to the economic system. OK, um, no, it, it said we are in worse times than the Great Depression back in um, what's that 19 1900s and such what 1930s, if I'm not mistaken. Going to the Great Depression. Let me just check that just to double check. Great Depression years. Okay, the Great Depression, which is it, it had 1929 to 1933. Okay, let me see something too. Yeah, bank bank failures. Some of the different reasons for it causes overproduction and drought. And that's just something what Google is saying here. All right, it had a crash. And, you know, there's a scripture say there's going to be a crash in from the hills. And, of course, they laid in themselves with the clay, which is the heavy debts. You know, pumping all this money to, into the economy, which they're just printing it. Which they know they're going to crash it. It's themselves. It's going to implode on its own self. Okay. Let's continue. From the lock. Yeah, five years of debt more. To get back, it will take five years. You, you have it, it just went, what, $26 trillion. Then they're saying um, the actual unemployment since, what, April, or since March, actually, Slokia. Um, of course, some unemployment insurance and ones who have applied for it has been, what, 47.5, I believe, has been reported. Okay, and not knowing the amount of people that haven't applied, haven't gotten the system. I mean, this place is through. Lockdown, then we get hit with the race riots. And and this is coming from someone who's saying, I support the arrest of the officer and uh, uh, for second degree murder. I called second degree murder, even when it was a lesser charge in the beginning. Uh, I support uh, correcting police abuse. I do not support taking the police down, but right now, we're having race riots all over the country with unreasonable demands, uh, like take down the police and so forth. Fine, I guess I'll just have to have a shotgun and take care of business accordingly. If I can't call the police to come look outside my house if someone's trying to break in my my, my, my home. I mean, this is just ridiculous what's going on. So we've got the race riots. We've got uh, cities being occupied now. Uh, Nashville's in the process. Um, and, and you look at Seattle, what a joke. They call it the... What is it, the Republic of Chaz? Well, Trump should be sending in the troops because that's a military invasion. They call themselves a foreign country. We need to teach them to treat this as a foreign incursion. And then, of course, we've got the infamous second wave with the presumptive diagnoses, which is just no more than an opinion. And then, of course, confabulation of numbers uh, through the incentivizing of fraud by paying uh, local governments so much for diagnosis of COVID and death. So you hear local government has been paid to 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 you to this diagnosing of this COVID nineteen. You don't you don't think that these various municipalities are in on it? These states, these hospitals, all of it. Death from COVID. It encourages them to lie and exacerbate the numbers. Right. I mean, what's going on? I mean, I, I could go on, but I know we have a limited time. But 
yeah, w- right now, here's the bottom line. All of these... And real quick, just a quick scripture. This is uh, the book of Second Ezra chapter 15 and 1. It says, Behold, speak thou into the ears of my people, which are the Israelites, the words of prophecy, which I shall put in thy mouth. So the Lord put the words of prophecy within the prophet's mouth. All right, because Isaiah or Ezra, which means help. That's uh, his name in Hebrew. The Lord put the words in his mouth. Him being a prophet, he gave him the secrets. And we what? Minister him unto the nation of Israel. But only the elect will listen and hearken. Being obedient. You have, of course, men whom uh, don't understand that out there. And they will, of course, obviously uh, be on the receiving end of the Lord's judgment. Okay, being not chosen from the foundation of the earth to be uh, elect to be delivered. Okay, Israel is the elect, but there's the elect within the elect. There's the elect of God, as it's written in, I believe, the New Testament. Okay, so continuing on, it says, and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. And we're seeing the faithfulness of these scriptures that the Lord has spoken. That the things that have been written uh, thousands of years ago are being fulfilled in the times in which we're living. Like brothers say, the words are literally hop- popping like popcorn and that they're hopping off the pages. It says here, fear not any of the imaginations against thee. And these, these different imaginations, when you go into imaginations... Um, in the scriptures, it go it basically go back to a Hebrew word. Um, you could you could say chashab wath. That's the one way you can say it, which is a uh, chashab meaning to think, imagine. Okay, basically the things that you uh, devise, which is this is be in, 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 evil. That is which that's the elite. That's the elite. What the elite have their different plans okay like you say we're not ignorant of satan's devices the devices are these imaginations that's another word that's pretty much synonymous to it and we um are known to fear them okay not fear not the imagination against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee and many people speak against the prophets because we come with this counsel we come with the truth uh, there's times in which obviously the elders and the apostles, okay, and their elders, okay, um, that came before them spoke of this word and you didn't see it um, happen. But as, as it's written, things, of course, are all happening in this proper season, okay? And they're happening anew and it's absolutely yapa. It's beautiful. La, I am now to our eyes. Uh, I am, uh, Yum Nawa. All right, that'd be uh, eyes in the plural sense. Ayin meaning I in Hebrew. Yum make it plural, and Nawa is ours. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. It says again, um, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And this is something we have to accept. The unfaithful shall die in their, unse- in their unfaithfulness. And two-thirds are going to get cut off here in America in these different plagues, in these detention centers, etc. Uh, all manifold the, sh- the forms of judgment that the Lord has. It says, Hanar, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hope for works are f- fulfilled. Okay. So obviously the sins have reached onto the heavens And the Lord have seen all that's being done The angels have given their report It is judgment time Alright That's why this is called like the beginning of sorrows And as you read later And I believe in the next chapter I'm going to skip around And it says here In verse 15 Second verse 15 15 our verse 14 says, Woe well, to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. One people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men. 
and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and of course their actions shall be in their power. So, as they going into the different civil war, race war, that's there here in the scriptures. Okay. As you're going to see, you know, of course, the love of many waxing colder and colder as time progresses. Let's just go back to the video. Get some more select scriptures because pretty much the whole Ezra 15 and 16, as everyone say, and the truth, as brothers say, is just here clearly evident. Okay, and it's going to be more and more manifested as time progresses. I'm going to keep saying that over and over again. Mysterious. done in concert together are designed to overthrow our constitutional republic remove the bill of rights okay establish basically just look at the face the punya all right of this actual uh i believe i perceive her to be edomite okay when he when he said about the constitutional overthrowing and and getting rid of rights over you know of the people which you know, a lot of these uh, these E's, they're they're pro um, as they go into they're like uh, patriots, <laughs> uh, diehard constitutionalists. Uh, they believe in their founding fathers, and they see what, of course, the elite, which are just the banking families, are dead, and they are against it, and they are pretty much calling for you know the people to obviously. If things get bad, overthrow the th government, and that's what you have and going to happen, okay? That's why you have cities like this Chaz and stuff, which is all set up, this whole Antifa stuff, and, you know, these different groups, which even set up and funds, okay, to bring more civil disorder. But the face of this woman changed when he said that, okay? He had a, a more cheerful... Uh, countenance uh, on her face and then it changed and that's all scripture as well um, if I can find it let me get it real quick it's in the book of uh, Sirach I believe the book of Ecclesiastes the Cush and the Apocrypha and And uh, I'm going to bring out some of these because, uh, like I say, these E's are not for um, us. And though, like I say, you have a lot of them with this whole, all these different psyops, these Black Lives Matters and all of this, which are no black or Israelites, Hebrew Israelites from 12 tribes. All right. You have to beware. All right. This is um, the book of Sirach, chapter 19 and... 26 it says there is a wicked man that hangeth down his heart he sadly but innerly he is full of deceit and that's e okay you have to as it's going to go into be be aware all right there's a wicked man that hangeth down his head sadly okay that's why i tell you never to trust an enemy but inwardly he's full of deceit because this man is is more subtitled than any beast of the field all right. Any of different nations in the world. This man is crafty, man. This man uh, appear to be all in a lower state, lower state, or all sad, and he isn't. He? He's really just trying to, you know, cut you in the back. All right, to backstab you, to trap you. It says, casting down his countenance and making as if he heard not, where he is not known. He will do thee a mischief before thou be aware. So just telling you about the nature of E. Okay. All of them. Okay. And tell you that their whole heart is deep. It says. Again. Let me repeat that. Casting down his countenance is his face. Or punya in Hebrew. And making as he heard not. 
where he is not known and he liked to date that they're not you know he liked to play off of people not being aware okay of who he is that's a way of course of how he can overthrow you overmaster you it says he will not he will do the mischief before thou be aware right you know and a lot of people they don't know the, the actual wickedness of these shadow governments or the shadow government which is set up you know they pretty much are all believing in all right oh it's trump like even these these low level e's I mean, they have a bit of as i tell you they're thou wiser than daniel but they don't have the whole they don't have the council of yahab shimei al shai all right they um still when they see that um they they get under have understanding of how this government even operates this is this, this dude even still has the audacity to talk about yeah trump you know he he ain't gonna let certain you know he ain't gonna let them ha do certain things if he stays in office when even though he's in one and calling for uh troops to go into one place but then he don't want <laughs> it's just like a bunch of rubbish you, mean, you, you just have to hear it for yourself as you as these e's continue to talk you know they're double tongue a double-minded man is unstable in all his base basically a lawless bolshevik revolution of stalinists and maoists yeah there's another word there's another scripture too about how um about the countenance of how it basically it tells how the heart, you know, basically how the heart, your heart is, you know, you could look at somebody's face and, and know, hey, well, that, that person's sad, okay, um, if I can find it, Lord will, um, I'll bring it out, and, it's a real good scripture, because, this is good with being able to have, a. Uh, uh, understanding um, of course of people and, and such and just having wisdom all right uh, let me, let me just, I'm gonna look it up manually on the actual screen so give me a wee moment you say I'm uh, no trying to make it that long of a lesson but it may be but we'll see count to minutes. I don't know if I spelled that wrong but we'll see all right, so it's correct spelling. All right, this is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, Cush, chapter 13 and 25. And it reads, it says, The heart of a man changeth his countenance, whether it be for good, whether it be for good or evil, in a merry heart. All right, yeah, merry heart cheer maketh a cheerful countenance. Okay. Um, we're gonna continue to read the next verse. Let's see. Let's go. I'm gonna click it. It says a cheerful and a cheerful countenance, a face, right, is a token of the heart. Right, so if you see somebody's face, at, you know, being happy, that's a sign of the of really their mind. All right, heart goes to lob, which is mine. That is in prosperity, and like I say, these E's are losing everything. Okay, they're losing their minds, they're losing their kingdom. This rulership is being translated. Okay, they're being, of course, uh, reproached <laughs> for their their crimes. You can see it on their faces. They look through the mom. It says, "In the finding out of parables is wearisome, is a wearisome labor of mind." Right? You know, which these dark sayings. But is the water Yahweh Shemeshah? We had apostles and elders who had the Holy Chakudash, the Holy Spirit, to be able to, uh, you know, give us the understanding of these parables. Because otherwise, we'd be in darkness and confused like the rest of this world. So let's continue on. <laughs> just wanted to note that that want to change this country in the image of those leaders i just mentioned and they're hoping for a higher seat at a better table in the new regime than the one they're being granted right so. now <laughs> and i'm surprised that 
they're meeting with very little opposition. I agree. And and so do you think then martial law is on the table in the near future? Is it a possibility? Well, I would argue that what caused our economy to collapse was the result of martial law. And it was illegal what the what these governments at local and state levels did when they would say, okay, Walmart and the rest of the box store. Your medical martial law that is that we're talking about. All right, due to this whole novel coronavirus. Okay. Where you've seen all these various um, orders that you had to follow by state, wherever country you've been in. But it's been a globalist agenda, okay, by the elite, okay? Why did the entire place shut down, okay? Yeah, there's certain places that were better than once, but they're all following, of course, the orders of the elite. And like I said, some people talk about Sweden, you know, they they, they were operating different. But that's because they already have what the system um, are people that really are embedded into that system, which is the chip. OK, with the biohacking, the RFID microchip being in their body, they're paying cash as payments. That's what they want. OK, and this is one way they're going to usher this in. OK. They shut down everything for all of these months. Right. And then they go into these reopening phases. But all as he's going to go into you only have um, you you have it that most of the economy is made up by these small businesses okay I, I don't have the actual numbers I'll get those numbers and bring out in the future lesson but you had them unable uh, to make money most of them were closed due to being deemed unessential they kept open these big corporations. They bailed out others, gave loans, and certain these small business can't even get these loans and such. It's been a bloody shambles. All of this, this stuff has went down. Economic uh, activity went down. And then they're expecting, as you say, a V-shaped economy and reopening. But then in that, then they're talking about the spiking of, of uh, this COVID-19 again in the second wave. Meanwhile, like I said, at the end, they're talking about vaccinations by the end of the year. The defo, you know, end of the year, uh, um, defo beginning of next year, all right? Whatever, however way it's in the, in the timeline of, yeah, of the Lord, there's an Operation Warp Seed that Trump is past tracking to make uh, these vaccinations uh, be forced out, and they're going to do it with the military. That's why this in, this involves all together the troops, these disorders and chaos. We're not kill. You can stay open, and we don't worry about social distancing. Well, we're not even paying attention to you. And I must note, I'm gonna bring out a scripture again, but well, I'm gonna play it. Slacky, I've got heated myself. You, but you other people, these small businesses that compete with them, we're gonna wipe out that competition for the big box stores. And you can't open. See, that's a violation. I talked to John White, at constitutional attorney, about this. This is a violation of the 14th Amendment. This is the failure to enforce equal protection under the law. And then there's due process allega uh, allegations we could bring. And then, of course, you've got the mayors and governors of democratic cities and states that won't even protect their own citizens from the riots. They won't allow the police to engage and stop the rioting. And John Whitehead and I both agree on this point. All of these mayors and governors should be brought up on charges for criminal negligence. And you ask. Right. But look, you know, this man don't understand that with these different executive orders and such, that throws out the, the Constitution. I'm pretty sure maybe he knows it, but, you know, these dudes, they just, they're pro-Constitution. They don't really, like I say, they really don't understand fully, like I said, the times we're in, Okay. Um, this is going to be the book of Second Ezra's chapter. Uh, sixteen and verse. Um, verse twenty-two. It says, "For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine." And this brought even for famine. It was different meat packing plants. Um, as we're going to go into further. As the scripture is going to explain too. Some of the other things. Um, I'm going to go on. It says. 
and the other that escape the hunger shall destroy. The sword destroyed, right? If you don't die in this famine, you're going to get killed by the sword, which is E with these troops. Okay? Um, in, in manifold ways. It says, And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. That's how much death is going to be out here. Alright? It says here that, verse 23, and the death shall be cast out like dung, and there shall be no man that to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. Right. Let's get this other scripture. This is going to be the book of Isaiah. Okay, let me get this real quick. Isaiah. It might be Isaiah 24, if I'm not mistaken. Let's do the spirit. This is Isaiah 24, and this mostly goes into nuclear destruction, but you can apply it to this too. This is uh, Isaiah 24 and 1. Behold, or Hanah, Yahweh maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the, the inhabitants thereof. Okay? It says, and it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master as with the maid so with her mistress and the with the buyer so with the seller with as with the lender so with the borrower as with the taker of usury so with the giver of usury i mean that's the interest the usury is interest okay so you know you see <laughs> how this destruction is hitting all sorts of people okay it says the land shall be utterly empty, but the Lord is going to have mercy and, and deliver his elect, just so you know. It says the land shall be utterly empty and utterly spoiled, for Yahweh has spoken this word. Right. So this is the word of the Lord. Okay. And none of his words are coming out void. Mm, they're going to accomplish what it's, gonna, it's sent to do. All right. I was looking for that other scripture to talk about the city of confusion being broken down. That's what I'm looking for, but... I'm just going to go to the spirit. Alright. I'm going to continue. It says. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languishes and fadeth away. And the haughty people of the earth do languish. Yeah. And this place is definitely fading away. I mean the spirit. I mean. You have people literally jumping for G golly goo. Goo or whatever. Goo. For just to be able to eat inside of a, a pub. Be able to get a drink of paint. And be able to just um, go to the gym. When these liberties you had prior, prior, pre COVID 19 era. <laughs> now you have it where it's just people are just confused. All right, literally. Mass all out. Um, you got chicks out there rocking about, not even understanding the time, just continue to get more and more power. With their bodies out, don't even knowing that, um, pretty much they're about to uh, prostitute themselves more than, than they already been dead by force, cause then they're gonna be able to be able to support themselves if they're not under the coverage of an elect man, okay? Which an elect man ain't gonna be prostituting his woman out, okay? The protection is gonna come through the elect man for the elect woman, okay? That's who her sins are gonna get. Um, going to be covered by that man that had that Ra'ash. Okay, but I'm going to keep going. And it says, therefore, the curse had devoured the earth. All right, there's going to be this nuclear destruction. All right. And they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burnt and few men left. All right. All right, anyway, going on. This is Isaiah 24, 7. The new wine mourneth, the vine languishes, all merry hearted do sigh. Right. And like, you know, as you've been, you are going to see, as I'm going to continue to read, the mirth of tabrets ceases, the music, the happiness, the joy, the noise of them that rejoiceth, rejoice endeth, and joy, the joy of the harp ceases. They shall not drink wine with a strong with a song, strong drink shall be bitter to them that 
drink it, and here's the point I want it. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Right, and you seen with all these different businesses being shut, okay? We literally seen houses shut up too where nobody, nobody was able to go outside because they were so afraid of this whole uh, p- pandemic, all right? It says there's crying of wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Okay. And this is just a pseudo mirth if you see anything. Because when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them like a woman. That's in travail, roughly paraphrasing. You know, many people thinking that just because some of these states have opened up their doors to certain uh, economic activity. Okay. Just to pacify you people a wee bit. I don't know the second wave. And it's real destruction. That the Lord got coming. More so. Is, is right on the horizon. Alright so. Um, I had another scripture too. It's also in the book of 2nd Ezra. Okay. And it says here. That. He that selleth. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 16. And 41, he that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will lose. And he that occupy merchandises, merchandise, as he that hath no profit, buy it. And he that buildeth, as he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth, as he shall not reap. So that also he that planteth the vineyard, at as he that shall not gather the grapes. And it's being like the different farmers. They haven't been able to actually do their husbandry in the way they would. Obviously under the pressure of E. And due to the closing of barters. Not having a allow amount, amount of laborers to come in to actually um, labor the fields. To be able to get gather the harvest. So a lot of things went to waste and the shape been dumped and this is going to destroy uh, a lot of people because that's going to bring forth the famine okay which like i say it's here all right it's here in in small ways okay in big ways really but you see these 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 food banks desperate you know for for fed these people desperate for fed donations okay the scriptures are, are living living right now, <laughs> all right, as they always been. Uh, let's continue on. You ask me what's going on, Lisa. I mean, I mean, there's there's a library of books we could write about this now. Right. So, what is the end game of all of it? Because obviously, this is driven by some kind of force. Because you're not going to have so many things breaking out all across the country just so happen at the same time. We're talking the protests. We never had hundreds of protests at all all in one time and, and and we've never had you know the pandemic breaking out at least in our generation right we've had them before uh but i've never seen this kind of coordinated attack on our country as ever before and these are things that you and i both warned of what is the end game and i'll do a part two okay of this actual lesson which will go into like the different uh, detention, which is the, the, the detention centers and different uh, agenda that they got coming forth. All right, which this all is in one agenda anyway. But with that, just hopefully you're edified by the lesson. I'm going to continue in the part two. Uh, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Shem Yah Shabbos Shem Kodesh and double honors to the Apostles and Elder the Great Millstone. World peace and salutation to elect again. Shalom.